validity of visas uh, going between the two countries uh, to up to 10 years uh, for uh, tourists and uh, business travelers and up to five years for exchange students uh, and uh, students coming to China and to the U U.S. Certainly that was uh, welcomed with a round of applause from the business elite who are here for the APEC summit. I think that one phrase that you mentioned, though, is the key phrase here is that uh, uh, President Obama said and then repeated himself that the, the United States welcomes the rise of a peaceful and prosperous China. Uh, you know, the U.S. within China has been criticized as been seeing to uh, try with its pivot to Asia or its rebalance to Asia to try and contain the rise of China. That's at least the criticism from the Chinese government. It, it seems like President Obama is trying to push uh, the fact that this is not, as he put it, a zero-sum gain that the two economies, the two uh, largest economies on the planet, can benefit from each other's success. Is it? Yeah, indeed. He went on to say on, on exactly on this arrangement, this visa arrangement, saying that 100,000 American jobs were created thanks to the number of people arriving in China, tourists, in fact. Now, David, just days before Mr. Obama arrived in Beijing, there was some scathing criticism about him in China's Global Times, which has close ties with China's government. What does that say about the influence Mr. Obama may have on issues like human rights, which he touched upon very briefly and indeed trade in the eyes of China's leaders? Well, certainly we have to take that with a pinch of salt. This is just brinkmanship before uh, the arrival of the U.S. president, in a way maybe to uh, diminish his impact on arrival. But he's still the commander-in-chief of the U.S. Uh, in the final two years in office. He certainly will be uh, most likely refocusing on foreign policy. Uh, because of the crises in the rest of the world, like Ebola, like ISIS, both of which he mentioned in his speech, uh, some have said that this much lauded uh, pivot to Asia has suffered. So in a way, it's a refocus. The president repeatedly said that uh, America's uh, general success economically and otherwise depends on the Asia-Pacific region. It wasn't all roses, though. There were some tricky things he brought up in the speech that would raise eyebrows, certainly in Chinese leaders. He mentioned certainly the issues with cyber theft around intellectual property. He mentioned uh, more than once, in fact, the issue of human rights and freedom of the press in China. He said that these are fundamental issues to the U.S. Uh, that they aren't just mentioning because they have to, but because they believe in it. But fundamentally, the speech, I think, is summed up by him saying uh, from the U.S. perspective that this is not just checking a box, as he put it. Uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, government is trying to show that they're deeply committed to the Asia-Pacific region and particularly to improving uh, the uh, ties between the U.S. and China. But it remains to be seen if they can actually do it.